I'm Michael Rollman. I write, I cook, I write about food and technique. I'm a regular judge on Iron Chef America. And yes, I am friends with that lunatic Bourdain. I believe that the world is a better place when we cook for our friends and our family. We cook with Le Creuset, and we always will. Let's talk about braising, my favorite kind of cooking. First of all, what is braising? Braising is simply cooking tough pieces of meat in a moist environment until they're tender, low and slow. And what we have here is the Le Creuset Brazer. And first of all, I have to say that whenever I braise anything, I only braise in Le Creuset because one, it's a non-stick surface, non-porous surface, and the food does not stick, and yet it still develops a beautiful fond, which is where so much flavor is. So I love that, and this brazier is really a cool pot. Um, you can do, in, in France, it's called your everyday pot. You can, do, you can do just about anything in here. You could do a risotto, you could do a bean dish, you could do a paella, you could do just about anything in this dish. It's the, it's, it's the go-to uh, of the weekday meal. We're gonna do some braised short ribs here. And the first step here to braise short ribs is to develop that fond, as I talked about. And we're gonna add uh, plenty of oil. Don't be afraid of adding too much oil here. We need plenty of oil in order to get a, a good sear, a good even sear. And we've got a hot pan. We've got some salted, floured meat. You don't wanna burn the flour, uh, but you wanna get a nice browned exterior. Browning will also help set the protein so that you don't get any sort of gray, scummy stuff coming up to the top of your sauce when you cook it. When you're cooking, take time to enjoy the, the smell, the aromas of stuff cooking. I mean, there's nothing better than the smell of floured meat hitting hot fat. I just love it. It's one of my favorite parts of braising. Too many people get stressed out by cooking. Allow yourself enough time to cook. Have good mise en place. That means all the stuff you're gonna need to finish the dish in place. Uh, and enjoy cooking. These are browning really beautifully. Makes me happy. Now you can see some of the blood coming out of these, and that is what we're protecting against. If that were to come out in the sauce, it would be sort of a gray, it would coagulate gray and would uh, make the sauce less tasty. So we're taking care of that by the searing process as well. Okay, these are just about done. We're gonna dump off the excess fat, wipe out the pot, now I've caramelized some onion, also carrots, add to the sauce. Put our short rib back into the pot. And now I'm gonna put in some wine. How much? Just enough so I have a little left over for while it's cooking. And now I take whole plum tomatoes, I add the liquid, and we make a quick puree of fresh tomatoes. And there is our sauce. Add a bay leaf or two. It gives it a nice uh, savoriness. As always, season as you go. The, the short ribs were seasoned. Cover that to bring it up to heat. Wait till it comes to a simmer. And then into a 300 degree oven. I think 300 degrees is the perfect braising temperature. You know, I work with some of the best chefs in the industry, and they may be being, doing their braises in stainless steel at the restaurant, because that's what's convenient, but I know at home, they're braising in Le Creuset. Okay, here they are. One of my favorite dishes, braised beef short rib. Economical, so easy to do. Tender, falling off the bone. And all braises, I think, go very well with a little gremolata, which is a mixture of parsley, lemon zest, and garlic and you've got a beautiful meal. And there you have it. Braised beef short rib, Le Creuset, Brazer, I love it. <laughs>